All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to do screenshots of your uh, shopping cart pages uh, for Pinterest or also for blog posts or posting anywhere, Facebook, LinkedIn, any of um, the above. So I'm on a Mac. Um, what I'm doing is I'm coming to one of your pages and I can actually zoom out using command, Z, command uh, minus um, in my keyboard so I can kind of get things to fit within uh, my screen. And then what you can do is you can do a screenshot, which is if you hit command shift and then the number four, you'll see my uh, cursor just turned into a little uh, cross crossbar or whatever, crosshairs. <laughs> now I can click and hold and select um, an entire area of the screen um, and try to get it kind of even. Um, and then once I let go, you'll hear a little um, photo sound. And what that does is it puts it on your desktop. So we'll go to my desktop here and you'll see the screenshot now. Um, it's a ping file, but it's a screenshot that appears on my desktop. So now I can upload this ping to Pinterest. So let's do that. I'm going to come over here to Pinterest. And here's this issue we were talking about on the phone. Um, for whatever reason, Pinterest has been struggling, it seems, with recently posted pins, at least for me, and it sounds like for you as well. Uh, after they're uploaded, it shows a little broken image link. This usually resolves within a couple hours or 24 hours of posting, but um, don't worry, they're working. I think what's going on is Pinterest is processing those images and hasn't fully processed them yet. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't still pin. So I'm going to come up here to the plus and say create pin, and then I'm going to upload the screenshot that I just made. So um, I'm just going to my desktop, finding that most recent file, and there it is. So now what I can do is um, we'll call this uh, wristlets, let's say, and, uh, and then you can kind of put some text here. You can write whatever you want. Um, you can also copy and paste text from the page. Made in the US, we'll say wristlets made in the USA. Um, and we could even say fashion wristlets. <laughs> Why not? And you can also use any of those keywords that we've discussed, and I provided you that list as well. Um, but anyway, call this whatever you want. Put this in here, and then, of course, make sure you're linking to this page. That's the last step, adding that destination link. Um, and then hit, uh, then select your um, board. In this case, I think we should create a new one called wristlets just so we have specific boards for all your very specific items. We'll hit create, and then I hit publish, and now I'm done, if it works. Sometimes it gives me an error and says it doesn't work. So now we'll come in here, we'll reload this page, and while this uh, post is showing up there, it's still showing me that broken link. Don't worry about that, give it some time, it should hopefully resolve itself. Um, and you can go from there. Another thing I would say for, for pinning, um, and this is using your Wix stores, um, if you go to the individual pages, you can come here to this little pin icon, um, kind of underneath shipping info, and that will pop up a new window that then you can pin this product to. And once you've done this, then this product becomes part of that product catalog, and then you can tag it on your other pins. Um, again, it takes a little bit of time before it actually appears into Pinterest world, but um, if you go through and pin each of those, this one worked right away for whatever reason. Um, so that one's there. But now let's say if you wanted to create a pin and you're going to upload a picture and you wanted to tag that particular product with it, you could do that. Then you could use this little tag products and come here to plus. Um, I'm not using the right image, of course, but... I just wanted to show you, oh, there's that one. So if I was using this image and I uploaded, now I could tag that image to this new page. And why this one appeared immediately and these other ones have uh, are taking a little more time, I don't know. Uh, what I'd suggest is pin all your products in your cart um, today and then maybe tomorrow go in and then see if hopefully they'll be showing up by then um, so that you can tag them. Um, so that's about it. I just wanted to kind of show you a couple quick ways to... Um, you know, to make sure that you're you're getting your maximum use out of Pinterest and, and being able to pin things. Um, you can also take screenshots of this page. You can sc take screenshots of any of your pages and you can do different groupings. So in this case, like I'll just do these four or these nine here. 
And then if I scroll down, I can do the next nine. And then I can pin these onto Pinterest. Um, let's go back here and I'll do it one more time just so you can see. So I'm going to go to create a pen. I'll come here. I'm going to grab that screenshot. And then I'm going to copy and paste this URL. And then I can also say um, handmade makeup bags made by hand in New York. And then um, let's create a makeup bag board because again I think it's good to have really specific um, boards as well as general boards so having all of them is good the more the merrier so we'll make that and then um, we're going to publish it and then I can do one more so I'll go up here to create pen I'm going to do that second one that I did and same thing I'm just going to kind of grab this link paste that here um, I can actually copy and paste maybe some of the um, text you've already written on this page and we can say handmade we'll call this one handmade makeup bags and then we'll select that makeup bag um, host again so anyway this is a wonderful way to create those multiple images which I think do better at least they certainly have been for you um, where it shows lots of different options versus just one option um, and then that will kind of hopefully create some more viral links for you pretty easily without having to take photos. Of course, the photo versions that you have been doing are awesome and I would encourage you to keep doing those as well. Um, I was going to try to find some of those, but your your top ones um, with the, all those multiple uh, pictures of the, the, like this one showing up here, do more of those and that'll really help, um, you know, get your pins being very viral. So anyway, let me know if you have any other questions. Sorry for the long winded tutorial, but hopefully this will help you uh, add more. And you'll see, look, this one worked, but the previous one didn't. So um, just keep in mind that anything that you're doing with um, Pinterest, sometimes it takes time for it to, to work. And sometimes you get that error where it says it didn't work. So just try to repin it and do it again. And usually the second or third time it will work. And hopefully Pinterest will fix these issues that they're having soon. That's it. Let me know if you have any other questions.